Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again, and we're back for some more Foundation, this uh, very early access game. I've been given the privilege of starting uh, to give you guys a look at early. We're just about done building this Weaver's Hut. That'll put our third one online. Let's please prioritize that, Carl and friends. Oh, Aaron's bringing the last piece of wood there. Before we get started, if you're enjoying the series, please hit that like button, it helps me out. And if you haven't already joined the clan, hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more great content. How's our housing situation? We have 18 serfs and 18 citizens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's only 200, or only 24 housing. Hmm, sounds like we're going to need more. So, our cash is 500 the total village center capacity is 500. So let's go ahead and find a way to get more territory. That's gonna be up here in the territory map. Now, these are the ones available for us to purchase because they are neighboring us. We cannot go off and just buy straight in here until we get some more space. We're gonna buy this one. And uh, that's gonna use up all of our monies probably. Yes, no, apparently not. Seriously, he's letting us buy two of them? Okay, apparently we were able to build the first one for free. I don't know why. I don't mind that, though. It may have just bugged and given us the chance to build extra. So, uh, we can do uh, these things. There's the Forester Hut. 26 in the citizen category. 22 of them are now citizens. Hopefully we'll get there soon. But before we go any further, I want food or um, uh, more space to do things. Question is, do we have everybody coming back to the center still? I think so at this point. I think we're probably going to expand the residential down, say, this way. Because we built that lovely... Uh, we, we did that lovely road here. So let's do... Let's continue to expand that. Like this. So we don't clutter up the road. Give them a nice double line here. Now, there's lots of trees now, so we can go ahead and add the extraction zone in here. Gather all them trees. Get all this area cleared out, shall we? Alright, good. Now, the thing I want to do is actually put in another woodcutter's camp right away. And we'll actually, we'll actually start that over here. Okay, we're gonna have a gatherer here. We're gonna have some stone. Let's put a little, let's put a little spot in here. So um, woodcutter can be here and I probably need another sawmill but I think I'm gonna keep him close to this area let's do that another sawmill can go probably right up uh, here uh, hello auto save uh, let's put a sawmill in here right there can that fit if I do that and another weavers uh, weavers hut He's not going to fit in there, is he? No, we don't have the money for him. He may not fit in there either, so we'll see. All right, now, you guys, how are you doing? You've got a lot of grain that come in so far. Nothing here. We'll assign three workers there. It's good. We have a surplus of worker of unemployed so far, so let's get them farming. Apparently, this zone has been grown recently, so it won't count. That's interesting. Okay, now they now that they finish the harvest, they can continue. So there, that's better. They're gonna farm up a whole lot more turf there. Can I actually set a road space here? Uh, go over here. Give me a farm field and just put it on the side of the path. Uh, I think I'd love to have just this. Just right like this. I think that'd be neat. What do you think? So the path goes a little bit of a little bit of path on the other side of the. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now we have uh, another extraction spot that we're going to be using over here, and another one right here. And I think we're going to also just uh, actually make this whole thing extraction to clear out all of this area of trees first. So I did set the other one, but I'm going to backtrack on that because this area I don't want you to guys to gather from. Go gather all this stuff first. Gather the area. Oh, look at that. A little gatherer's plot right down on the road. I want you to shut off all this gathering, extracting rather. 
until we clear out the area that there's housing on, like that, like that as well. Good. That'll be the place you go to do, do your foresting. More people available. Excellent. Three of them. We're going to have another uh, stone cutters camp over here. We can tuck it right in. Let's tuck it right in by this one. A forester and a stone cutter. Look at that. That was very nice of you. You removed that uh, the very inconvenient tree out of my way. And we'll go with another gatherer's camp. Now, I could put another gatherer's camp on this one. I could put a gatherer's camp up here somewhere. It might be less than ideal, but we could do it. We're going to place them here, however. And maybe another well in that spot as, as well. Let's do that. Uh, right, um, right there. Good. So they can get uh, some berries there, or water there. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I don't think we'll do that. I think I will disassemble that. Right now, I want to keep people going in here. So, housing. It's pretty, but it could be prettier. Uh, there we go. The building's completed. We now have 24 citizens. Excellent. We can build the Lord's Manor soon and what else we have a bakery we can start working on the bakery that would be great can we put the bakery over here somewhere i think we could enough weavers in there probably is full uh we'll put a baker right in here now the reason is he can quickly access that which is our primary storage capacity um we want you to Accept coal? Why not? Why not accept coal and bread and wheat and all these things? Please accept everything. I don't know why you would not accept something. Uh, that might be something for you guys to fill me in on. An iron mine, iron smelter, and blacksmith. Well, we can't do any of that until we get a much nicer place. We have a market needed for bread. Oh, did I already build one? We did. We built a bread market right away. That's good. Uh, go ahead and assign a worker to that. Do we have workers on this weaver's hut? I don't know if I did. I didn't. Okay, excellent. How is the supply of clothing? Uh, right now we have zero wool stored. Okay. You are gathering not enough wool. All right. Can we put in another sheep place? It is a sheep farm. I can tuck one in there. Is that going to work? They are going to let me do that. What? Really? Can I put a sawmill over here? Apparently not. Okay, so it has to be at least touching my... my Part of this, the building has to be in my area. Well, that's not bad. Oh, yes. We had an, built another sawmill, but we didn't build another... Uh, assign another carpenter. That's a little unpleasant. So, how are we doing for food? <gasps> We're out of berries. Uh-oh. We're completely out of berries? Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. We got... Nope. We are out of berries entirely. That is very troublesome. Now, part of that could be the geography issues. There is nobody to assign to these buildings. Look at that. Everybody is busy, happily working. Well, I suppose that's okay. Now, you guys are going to be our berry gatherers. So, let's look at Florence here. And see what Florence does. Florence, you're you're a surf. You're gathering berries. Good job, Florence. Let's uh, let's keep watching Florence. Florence is going to gather some more berries. There are two stored there. There's now four stored there, and six. Are we still watching you, Florence? Yep. So another. There's two more. Now Florence needs to go looking to fill her needs. So she's going to have to go back and have a nap. And she's going to... Oh, she's preparing for work. She just needed a nap. It was just tiring. Now, all that travel time is time she could have been gathering berries. So, what if Florence was, instead of living over here, was living really close? That would save her some time and increase her efficiency as, uh, you know, in, in getting a supply of berries available for people here. Now, we have six in stock. We have 14 in stock. Good. No berries in the warehouse, but we are moving berries a little better now. So part of it's going to be about how we build our residential. Oh, look at that. Isn't that a pretty little road? 
I love it. Okay. So housing is going to be vital. How they get to and from their houses, to and from their basic needs, re needs requirement places like the berry market, the bread market, and the clothing market. That's going to be vital. So next thing I think we're going to do is eventually we want to expand out this way to get the iron, but we can't touch it yet. Right now, I think what we are going to do is build our manor and our church. I would like the church to be possibly down here, nice and central for a big community. Uh, the Lord's Manor, however, I think we will build off to the side a little here. So we can start by, this is the building of these, both the church and the manor have this sort of thing, Lord's House Core. All right, so let's do this. Mm, I like the idea of having it up on the little hill here. That's kind of nice. Build, or do we want the church in there? No, we want the manor on the hill. Let's build the manor right there. And then we can grab this little green thing and extend the building and say, meh, I want the center of my house to be a nice tall tower. Let's do that. And then we can add all sorts of things to it. Like we can put a door on the front, which would be probably a good idea. We can put a treasury, which is these nice little spires. So let's do a real basic uh, start for... Oh, down there and then give me a place up uh, there and a nice little pokey spire up the side there what about another one of those on the other side love it that looks very pretty now next we're gonna do is probably an extension uh, let's put the extension can we turn the extension and have it like kind of a entryway here maybe um, we're gonna do that do one of those. Oh, no, pull it away, turn it. It kind of takes a bit to figure out how all this is going to work. Um, and another, do we need another extension? What do we do? This way, maybe? That'll be interesting. And, and this way. Now, and I want to grab these, and let's, of course adjust these. Now, they're not building anything because I've not told them to actually build anything yet. This is the planning phase. Uh, let's click that guy and tell him to be maybe a little taller than those two. And this guy a little taller than that one. How about that? Is that is that a good uh, view? Mm, I think we build it there. Whoops, just ripped it off the house there excellent okay now those two little extensions would be lovely and i think we're going to put the manor door right right in there because i can connect why are we not connecting we can connect back there apparently uh, is the door backward oh i guess it was backwards there we go there's the door for our manor uh a chimney love it let's put a chimney on either side so we have a nice roasty toasty house uh, chimney. Maybe these these spots here. Can I place a chimney on that? I guess not. Uh, woodcutters need a resource for extraction. Okay. Oops, where did I put that chimney? Let's not leave chimneys sitting on the floor, shall we? There, okay. A couple chimneys is lovely. What else? Decorative trees. Lord's Banner. Oh, I see. Let's do that. Let's put a couple Lord's Banners out near this front. Ah, you know what? We got a fence. Let's do that. Can I put a nice little fence in here? Uh, we can have like a hitching post for the animals. Not, not right in the door. How about uh, like this? We'll build a fence here. I don't know if these fences extend. Can I, like, no, I can't. Okay, we'll just put some lovely bushes maybe then in here. Uh, decorative bushes, a couple of those. They, they won't look that bad right uh, once we get them finished. Trust me. A wall fountain. Oh, what a beautiful thing. We can put a wall fountain right in here. Let's do that. Put a wall fountain in instead of these. Uh, you can come around the back. Lovely. Mm-hmm. And some, uh, there's some decorative trees maybe on this side. The Lord can have a, oh, 
I have a little orchard effect there. Oh, beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Oh, we have a wall fountain of the manor. What else? What else do we need? I think we put everything in. Chimney, ban oh, his banners, of course. We need a nice banner here and a nice banner here. Now, the entire village is operating this entire time, so oops. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be what our Lord's Manor is. So if we hit clear, I'll be very sad. If we hit construction, we it's going to cost us 189 um, stone, that is, 53 tools. Monument effect on a state, 48 whatever that is, people. I think that's the, maybe that's the capacity people? I'm not sure. Plus two for no or for the nobility the kingdom I don't know for the manor I don't know building parts count 20 minimum three villager capacity 13 okay uh, this you know, the mouse overs don't work so add 2,000 to the village treasury capacity right now we cap out at 500 maintenance cost of 51 sure no problem let's build it <laughs> that is probably a bad idea folks but we're gonna do lots and lots of building there so what else do people need well they need the extractions for all this timber so let's tell them they can go ahead and clear out this area here all of that and I think somewhere we'll actually have uh, we'll actually put, put in a forester camp at some point do we have access to that yet no we still need 26 citizens we only have 24 citizens and I think that's a lack of housing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's you no. Know, we get lots of housing. Do we have uh, unused? Yeah, we have unused residential zones still. So, oops, oopsies, oopsies. Drake, you're breaking it. You're breaking the things. Don't break them. All right, lots of residential. Our farm fields seem to be okay. Two new villagers have arrived. Good. We have 24 serfs still. We need to build a uh, church. And I think we're going to build a very simple church to begin with because I think I just overdid it severely on the housing or on the, the building of that manor. Uh, the church is similar. We can do a church core, wood, red, and blue. Interesting. Let's do a wooden themed church. Very classic little church on the hill. How about that? Um, we'll build it right. Uh, let's build it right here. Beautiful little church. Get a bell tower on the back. Love it. Let's see if we can. Uh, come on, let's zoom in a little. This church should probably be a little taller. Not giant, but a little taller. A little bell tower on the back or the front. Let's put him on the front. Excellent. A bell tower out in the front. And how about a door? Can we stick the oop, auto save? We stick a door in here? I guess not. Church is going to have to have the side door. Oh no, it'll attach there. Okay, so the bell tower does have to be on the side or the back. Uh, let's move you to the back then. And move you to the front. There we go. Lovely little door. Uh, and a tower. We could put a tower in here and then put a bell tower somewhere else. And the, oh yeah, you know what? This will work. This this door can move because this guy has a uh, nice spot there. Good. Now we can attach the door. That's beautiful. Okay, what else? Uh, let's put a nice little cross. Oh, you know what? We're gonna have a little uh, few crosses out the back here. We have to have them placed. Um, How are we going to do this? Let's do this way and then uh, move these guys. So we have like a little tiny graveyard in the back. What do you think? A couple more crosses. Mm-hmm. Love it. Uh, we, could, we could put extensions, but we won't right now. How about a... Uh, is there flowers? There's some decorative trees out the back. One decorative tree right by the bell tower. And uh, how about we put it? Can we put a gargoyle up on top of this thing? No, we can't. We can have a gargoyle overlooking the back. Where is it? There? No, that's inside. You go up top. How do we do that? There we go. And oops, turn you around. 
He's going to look out the back of the building. Nope. How do we get you to turn the other way, buddy? I don't think I can get him to attach properly. Hmm. Can't turn him. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll leave him then. No gargoyle for you. Uh, stained glass, huh? Hmm. We could put a nice little stained glass window somewhere. Where are we going to put it? Uh, it can go in there, but that's really awkward. Visually. Can we put you up on this side? No. Okay, nowhere that'll fit a stained glass window either. I guess we're just not that cool. Let's construct this. It'll be lovely, and the church will be... The people will be very happy to get their faith needs met. So... What else is needing to be done? Well, we are almost out of time here, but the housing is expanding on its own. It's great. Village upgrading the house. Lovely. We have 24 citizens. They are going to upgrade to something. Are they going to get beyond citizens yet? Well, make sure that their needs are met. We have... Uh, you're a serf still. We need to find a citizen. Can we find a citizen? There we go. You need faith, which is not fulfilled, and you need bread, which is also not fulfilled. Well, why not? Not in stock, no bread. Flour. Bakery. Did we not build a bakery? We did build a bakery. We didn't assign anybody to baker. Well, that was silly. Now we can get our bread needs met. Uh, citizens. So we need more clothing and we need lodging for everybody. Do we not build enough? No, we don't have anywhere near enough. Um... I don't think we assigned enough people to do this. Did I not assign people to these? Yeah, Edith's there. Virginia's there. And now we have Baptiste there. Okay. So maybe we're going to have to relook at the housing layout of things. Look at that beautiful bar um, Lord's Manor going in. Love it. Uh, we got 24 citizens. We just need two more. Two more people to get enough clothing, and we're happy. We're just not getting enough wool. Can we buy clothing? Let's look at that. Can we buy clothing? Don't sell clothing. Can we buy it? Is anybody actually going to sell us clothing? No. No, they're not. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, I think it's going to be an issue of people are not living close enough to actually... To work the areas. If we had a housing zone out here, if we go ahead and paint a nice residential space out here, currently it's not very de um, desirable for space for housing, but we have decorative features that we can improve that with. Like decorative, well, they really like, they really wanted to build anyways, so we can build some, put some lovely uh, plants in there for them. Pretty it up a little bit, and now let's look at the desirability. Desirability for residential. See? Look at that. Nice and bright and green. We could also find some decorative trees. We could plop a tree in over there, tree in over there. Maybe a nice little decorative tree down here and here. Look at how easy that is to make it look pretty. Hmm? I like it. What a pretty neighborhood we have here. Just, just rows of trees in behind all the housing. Then, when they are ready to build... Actually, I think these probably are going to be too close. Probably. Probably crowding them. We'll do the one row of housing on that side. And then we're going to do more... Or trees, rather, on that side. And then we'll do some more trees over here. Like this. Beautiful. All right. Now, do we have enough residential space to fit uh, to put people in there? Well, there's more houses will go in there. That pumps the residential desirability up. We have 24 serfs still. Now, Oliver and Isabel and Thomas and these people all need to be living close by. So when we get those houses built, we'll try to shuffle manually shuffle them into houses that are nearby, reducing their travel time and increasing the likelihood that everybody will get what they need. Maybe even put some people here. Well, actually put some people here. That would be lovely. Oops. Eh. We don't have stone dude. Let's do stone dudes here. Five people over here to work. We are definitely going to need more housing. The church is almost built. The manor house is built. What a great, almost finished building. Excellent. So we'll finish those up next episode. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. Hit that like button if you are enjoying this series. 
I think this is a beautiful game. Again, very early access. We'll do maybe a couple more episodes and see if you guys are still interested in seeing more. See how far we can get with uh, a few episodes here. If you want to see more of this, go ahead and hit the like button and make a comment for me. Let me know that you're interested in lots more of this content. And if you have hints or tips, throw them down there as well. Hit that subscribe button in the middle if you're new to the channel. And as always, I will see you in game.